Hi, it's Toby here for TP23 Productions. Got a DVD review. This time around I'm going to be reviewing Silver Lining Playbook. So, in all honesty, I don't really know what attracted me to this film. I saw one trailer of the film and I wanted to watch it, which is a bit strange really, but it must have done something to attract me to the film. So, the film is about Bradley Cooper's character. He gets out of a mental institute and he is determined to get back with his wife, who currently has a restraining order out on him. The story is pretty cool, it's about Bradley Cooper who has bipolar and a bit of OCD. He suffers with them and like I say he's trying to get back with his wife. She's got a restraining order out on him and he's just trying any sort of way he can, thinking of different ways to get back with her. It's pretty cool that he's trying to get back with his wife, so not a bad story really. The story really, it's straightforward, a uh, bit of a comedy aspect. There's only one real twist really, but I saw it coming and towards the end of the film I welcomed that twist. Even though you did see it coming, it was still good to see the twist unfold in the film. Robert De Niro's in the film as well and the two characters, Robert De Niro and Bradley Cooper, they gel amazingly well. Obviously they were in Limitless together, which is a good film as well. They have a great, great chemistry in Limitless and they also have it in this film as well. It's good to see as well that Robert De Niro thinks that his son who is Bradley Cooper, is some sort of lucky charm when it comes to American football. It's also his way of getting his son, and obviously himself who is the dad, to have a bit of uh, alone time really. You know, they, they bond, they connect. Even after out of the institute, it's good that they're connecting and bonding together over the football. In the trailer you see Bradley Cooper and he's wearing a bin bag over his hoodie. And you don't know why, but in the film... He makes out that the bin bag is okay to wear because it's like a jacket. Bit different, but that's the whole difference and funny part of the film. The guy's wearing a bin bag and he thinks it's a jacket. It's different. The film overall, though, it's not my type of film. There's no car chases and no explosions. Just really an explosion of character by one of the great modern day actors, who is obviously Bradley Cooper. I saw one trailer and I wanted to watch it, which. Usually, in that case, it has car chases and gunfights and all that uh, action, really. It's almost like This Is War. Never wanted to watch This Is War before. Watched it, enjoyed it. Silver Lining Playbook, saw a trailer, wanted to watch it. Just something made me want to watch the film. The film is enjoyable. Bradley Cooper's character, how he wants to get back with his ex-wife, that's a good story. There's another character in the film who Bradley Cooper gets on with. After he gets out of the Institute, they have great chemistry together. To bring Robert De Niro in as Bradley Cooper's father, even better, the great chemistry between those two great actors. Overall, Bradley Cooper just takes the film and makes it his own. Yeah. It's an enjoyable film. It's different sort of character that you've never seen from Bradley Cooper before. He plays a bipolar OCD mental institute patient very well and you almost want him to succeed in getting back with his ex-wife you're willing him throughout the whole film you know take him back sort of thing take him back he's doing good so if you are a bradley cooper fan and you like chick flicks with a bit of ocd bipolar theme chucked in then really i think you will enjoy this film honestly i saw one trailer and i wanted to watch it i found the film very enjoyable even though it was kind of a chick flick so that was my quick review of Silver Lining Playbook. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.